In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw paths with the pen tool, pencil tool, and curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I love to teach people how to design beautiful invitations and run successful stationery businesses. If you're not yet a member of our stationery school membership just for stationery designers, you can use the link in the description to sign up. And while you're here, like, subscribe, and watch some of our other graphic design tutorials. I bet a lot of you have used Illustrator to you know, image trace, use text, use other elements. I bet you've used it for a lot of different things, but have you ever tried to kind of draw specific shapes in Illustrator? I bet a lot of you haven't. So I'm going to teach you today the pen tool, pencil tool, and curvature tool in case you want to start drawing your own shapes in Illustrator. This is especially powerful for kind of simple shapes. And as you get uh, better at it, you'll find it's more useful for complicated shapes as well. Um, if you want to image trace something but you want it to be exactly precise, you can do this instead of using the image trace tool. So up here we have the pen tool. And I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see things and we're gonna do um, a yellow path with a black stroke. So basically wherever you click with the pen tool, it's going to create an anchor point and the next place you click is going to create a, another anchor point and those will be connected by a path. If you get back to your original path, you will see it kind of lights up with this little dot right here and that means you're going to close the path. So now we have created this wonky hexagon and we can use it however we want. We can also edit the paths with the anchor tool however we would like to do. So we drew this shape. Now what if you want to use the pen tool to create curves? Basically you will click and in order to create a straight line we're just going to click and let go, but in order to create a curved line, we're actually going to drag. And you see the edit points of that anchor and you kind of see a preview of what that curve is going to look like. So anytime you are dragging, your, your click will establish the anchor point and then your drag will establish the angle of it. So I'm dragging, continuing to drag in all these different directions here. And then same old, you can join the paths by looking for that, uh, there's that little circle that pops up. And then you can edit any of these, like this one's a corner, we could edit it to be a curve as well. And then of course you can edit any of the curves just as you would any other shape in Illustrator. So that's the pen tool. This one is the curvature tool and it's automatically going to assume a curve. So it's kind of like that pen tool, but taking the drag out of it. So I'm just gonna click and then I'm gonna click and it's assuming a curve. You don't actually get a curve until your third anchor point because two anchor points is just a straight line, uh, but it's just going to assume a curve. Same as the one we just showed you. Now we have all these handles we can edit this as we like. As with everything in Illustrator, if you hold shift while you're doing any of this, um, it's going to just limit you to certain um, angles. It's usually, in this case, it's usually gonna be like 45 to 90 degree angles. So I'm holding shift and it's only going to let me click here or in a 45 degree, 90 or 180 degree angle. It's not going to let me click anywhere else. So that's something you can do if you're only interested in those certain angles. And then over here, mine defaults to the paintbrush tool, but under it is gonna be the pencil tool. It's also in. Pencil tool is a lot more free form. So in the pen and curvature tool, you are establishing where the anchor points go and then the curves and straight lines are filling in. With the pencil tool, you are drawing the whole shape and the anchor points are filling in for you. You're not determining where they go. So I'm just gonna draw, and you can see it's kind of like drawing with like Microsoft Paint. And then it's going to fill in with the anchor points from there. And so like this one probably established, maybe it didn't establish as a corner, but you can definitely get that to happen. And then you can edit all of these anchor points. Uh, you can fill in this shape, you can do all kinds of things. One cool thing about the pencil tool is it can also change existing shapes. So if I have this shape, I'm gonna color it yellow because I think it's just easier to see when it's filled in. I can use the pencil tool to add to that shape and even in some cases to cut off things from that shape. It's gonna depend on the exact direction that you draw, but you can actually cut off portions 
um, of a shape if you're not interested. When this little X appears, it's basically telling you that you're close enough to an anchor point that you can start drawing. Let's see what, let's see what happens. I don't even know what's going to happen here. And that pencil tool will kind of just take you in so many fun directions. You can just cut this off. I actually use something similar, like cutting all this off with the pencil tool when I was creating letters in my font, because if there was like a blob that I wanted to straighten out, um, I could just use the pencil tool kind of like this and just cut off that shape. So just as a reminder, your pencil tool is going to be totally freeform drawing with your mouse or whatever. The pen tool is going to default to straight lines, but if you drag, you can get a curved line. As a reminder, you are your click places the anchor point and then the drag determines the angle. And then when you see this little O pop up by your pointer, that means you're closing the shape. And then the curvature tool is very similar. It just assumes curves from the get go. And then no matter what, afterward, you have three full shapes that you can color in. You can edit anchor points and do whatever you want. So let me know what questions you have about the pen, pencil, and curvature tools. If you're new to Adobe Illustrator, I hope you'll check out our full playlist while you're here. And if you want to learn how to build a stationary business from the ground up, I hope you'll join our beginner course from start to suite, which is linked in the description of this video. Thanks everyone.